Hello and welcome to the Smart LOD tutorial. Today I will show you everything you need to know for this package. So what I've done is I've imported the big environment pack from the asset store and I'm going to use one of their buildings as an example for this tutorial. I'm going to use this one right here, which is quite detailed. It has a full elaborate inside to it and it's just a very nice model. It already has collision and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this right now and I'm going to drag in the lowest level of detail of this building. So as you can see, it's, it's quite angular and <clears throat> it's meant for being in the distance. So now I'm going to go into component and then scripts and then add the LOD script. And right away, I'm going to drag and drop this into its correct group. So we know that this is LOD three. So we're gonna drag this into LOD group two because it starts at zero. And this is something very important. We have to assign a camera so that it knows which object to track the distance from so when it will change levels of detail. So we're gonna add the main camera. And then now we wanna put the other groups into there. And we're gonna, we're gonna instantiate these groups instead of dragging them into the scene and lining it up and scaling it. We're just gonna simply go to instantiate group zero and we're gonna click on that and then I'm going to grab group LOD group one here. And then, and then there's the second one. Now I'm going to talk about controlling your instantiated objects. Now the first option here is you can choose to instantiate objects at start. So if you check that off, all the objects that need to be instantiated will load right away at the start and it'll perform really smooth because it's already loaded everything and it's ready to go and it only has to affect the renders of each group but if you don't have that checked off it can be very useful for very large open scenes where you have thousands of objects with thousands of levels of detail on them because it'll it'll kind of load everything as it goes so that's very useful for open world games so i'm going to show you how to do that because if you want to instantiate at start these options don't even really apply. You don't want to destroy or set the destroy distance. So we're going to go destroy instantiate because this option makes it so once your levels instantiate, they will be destroyed again once the camera is past the destroy distance. So we're going to make this destroy distance like 200. And right now I already have the, uh, the first level set to 50 so when the camera gets a distance of 50 yards away it'll switch to group one and then at 140 it'll switch to group two or whatever so let's give this a try so as you can see it's already loaded the first uh, level because it detected right away that it was the camera was close and so we're going to back the camera up and it looks like it just switched to the next level so as you can see there's no indoor to it anymore and there's the third level right there. You'll notice here it says LOD clone one and two. So these are the objects that were instantiated. So watch as I move the camera away, they were just destroyed. And then they'll be made again once they get close in. Very useful for large open scenes. Before I wrap things up, I'm gonna quickly show you how to set up LOD the old fashioned way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in LOD1 here, then LOD2, and I'm just gonna try and get that line up as best as I can for now, and then LOD3. And they're kind of a little off from each other, so I'm just gonna select them. If I wanted to do it properly, I would just copy and paste the exact positions and scales and whatnot. So I'm just gonna line these up. And then on the first level, I'm going to select that and then I'm going to add the LOD script to it. I'm going to drag this one into group zero and then LOD two into group one, LOD three into group two. I got to grab the camera first and set this distance to 50 and then 150, which is what I had it before. And I'm setting these to 999 because 
these groups don't exist and if and if it gets past those distances then the object will just disappear which which can be very useful if you do want that to happen but if you don't want the object to disappear as as it gets past these distances then just set them really high like that so let's give it a test and as you can see go inside just switch levels of detail and there it goes well that concludes the lod tutorial i definitely recommend that you buy this package it's only 15 dollars right now just go for it especially people that use unity free you don't need unity pro to run this thank you very much bye